guys it's uh, brew guy 89 back at you again and uh, as you can see here it kind of looks like I'm at a truck stop I actually am at a truck stop at a travel plaza it's called Petro it's on interstate 81 in uh, Raffine Virginia and uh, the reason I'm actually showing you footage of this right now is because of what's inside of this truck stop that I found while being out on the road and um, I actually saw some honey and some marmalade and some peaches and uh, different kinds of ciders there's apple cider and peach cider inside this truck stop and uh, also um, there's some other stuff like specialty goods and stuff like that that you would find at at a farm type of place but um basically i just wanted to show you guys what i found in here and uh and we can take a look at the prices again it's a convenience store it's a truck stop so the prices are a little high compared to um um you know going to the actual real orchard but the name of this place is called orchard creek it's also called white's travel plaza or travel center and it's also called uh it's a petro stopping center so here we're looking inside right now there's these things that are called uh moonshine mixins and uh you know there's no preservatives in this stuff um 9.59 for the jar so uh, here's a little bit about it there's no sugars or sweeteners or corn syrup in it um it comes from georgia obviously and you just put it in, in over ice or they say you can mix it in, you know, put some vodka in there or something like that. I don't know. Those didn't really appeal to me too much, but I did saw them. I wanted to take a uh, quick shot of those so you could see them. Here's some honey, little small bottles of honey. Um, Bubba's Sweet Nectar, Clover Honey. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that one. $13.99. And um, here's for $6.79. Tastes like Grandma's Homemade Jam Black Raspberry. I was thinking about putting some jam in a meat or something, but... That will wait. I'll wait later on down the road before I experiment like that. So, but here's some more honey. Again, it's a little pricey. I could get five pounds back up in Jersey for twenty-seven dollars. Here they want twenty-one dollars for three pounds. So, here's some uh, maple syrup that I found. This is coming out of Pennsylvania, um, and I guess I heard some people use uh, maple syrup in their meats. So I saw this. It's the only one that was there, and I was considering. Um, buying it and using that for my next mead but um, I didn't actually buy that here's some more honey honey with the comb I wonder how uh, different the flavors would be of actually having a little uh, comb in there um, I was considering buying that but since I'm gonna I plan to ferment my thing in a uh, in a glass in a one gallon glass uh, you know carboy with a small top I can't really shove the uh, clove in there so here's some apple cider and this stuff comes from Ohio it's a half gallon and it's seven bucks so it's kind of expensive um, here's some more bubble sweet nectar see now they got like every size you could think of they don't have anything over three pounds though here are some of the marmalades and preserves I was talking about earlier apple butter and here's some peach halves and pieces of peaches and pears now I was considering making a ferment with that too. Se uh, seven bucks for that, and it's no preservatives, just a little bit of syrup and water and the peaches themselves. And then down here we got some other stuff, a couple more peaches, and um, there's the peach slices that are a little cheaper. Here's some syrup that I found over there. Um, all the syrups don't have any preservatives, but they do have corn syrup in them and uh, natural butter and nutmeg. I don't know how, how good that would be to use in a mead, so. I decided not to get those, but I was definitely considering purchasing one of those just to bring it home and uh, try it in my next batch. But uh, I went ahead and uh, passed that up. Everything in here is kind of expensive. Uh, here's some peach cider. And again, uh, there's no preservatives. That was from Concentrate. And here's a 32-ounce Bubba Sweet Nectar. They wanted $15.99 for the uh, 32 ounces. Yeah, guys, I actually ended up did, uh, buying something in there. Uh, I got some peach cider, half a gallon, and uh, some honey, and uh, I'm going to try to make some, uh, I guess, it's not real fruit, so I guess it wouldn't be a mellow mel, but um, I'm going to use this, uh, try to make a mead out of this clover honey that comes from Waynesboro, Virginia. We'll try that out, and uh, 
Yeah, it's, uh, we'll try that out with some of this peach cider. We're going to mix it up together. And this is from uh, Ohio, Amish Wedding Foods. So we'll try that out. You'll see it in the video. I'll, I'll record the process and everything, what kind of yeast I use. So stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching Brew Guy 89. We'll see you guys next time.